Welcome to Al May. We are here to share tech knowledge with you. Let's get our journey started. Today, we are going to show you how to solve new simple volume grid out. We have two parts in this video. Part one: Why new simple volume grid out? Part two: How to solve new simple volume grid out? Have you ever met this kind of situation? Will you try to right-click on an unallocated space to create a new simple volume in Disk Management, but only find the option grayed out? Do you know why and how to deal with it? After watching this video, you will figure it out. Most of users may know that Windows operating system supports both MBR and GPT Disk, and the two disk types. Have their own characteristics to affect on their performance. MBR disk, which only supports the capacity up to two terabytes, and you can only create up to four primary partitions. Once you want to create more partitions for different files, you have to convert one primary partition to extended partition. GPT disk breaks out the limitation of MBR. It supports more than two terabytes capacity, and you can create 128 partitions on GPT Disk. Considering of the situation we mentioned before, the problem is clear: that the hard drive is MBR that can only use up to two terabytes. That's why the new simple volume grayed out beyond two terabytes in Windows Disk Management. Just keep watching to see the solutions. To solve the new simple volume grid out, you should change the MBR into GPT Disk so that the part beyond two terabytes can be available. And here provides you two different ways to convert MBR to GPT Disk. Solution one: Disk Management. Press Windows at R to summon the ROM box. Input diskmgmt.msc and click OK to get into Disk Management. Then right-click on the three terabytes hard drive and select Convert to GPT Disk. Now you can right-click on it and create a new simple volume. However, we want to use it to convert disk from MBR to GPT. If there are some files on the three terabytes hard drive, you have to delete all data on the disk, because disk management can only convert an empty MBR into GPT. Otherwise, you'll find Windows Convert to GPT grayed out. So here comes a better choice, solution two. Alme Partition Assistant is a powerful disk manager. We can use it to manage our disks. More importantly. We can convert MBR to GPT without losing data. Just Google Alme Partition Assistant, download and install it. Launch Alme Partition Assistant. You will see the main situation of your hard drive. To convert MBR to GPT, you can right-click the disk, no matter there are partitions on it or not. Select. Convert to GPT Disk. You don't need to worry about the data because it can convert MBR to GPT and vice versa without losing data. Then it will pop out a window that you can ensure whether you'd like to convert it. Click OK. After that, the three terabytes hard drive will be in the GPT statement, but don't forget clicking Apply. At the toolbar, then it will convert MBR disk to GPT disk. After converting the MBR disk to GPT disk, you can make a full use of your three terabytes hard drive. You can also use the Alme Partition Assistant to create partition, merge unallocated space, and so on. Above are how to solve new simple volume grid out. Hope you could benefit from it. Want to know more about Alme? Looking for more tech knowledge? Just subscribe us and leave comments. 
We are here to help you with any questions. 